Hello guys and welcome to a new video. Today we won't take a look at another plane, we will take a look at a ship. Um, an ocean liner, after all from the glorious 1930s. Uh, this here is a custom ocean liner called the SS Prichten. And um, yeah, it's completely completely custom build. For sure uh, we got some inspiration from some already existing ocean liners. Uh, by the way I, I'm sorry that I have to turn down my render distance but otherwise it wouldn't be possible that I could show you the ship. Uh, yeah, because it's it's very large. Um, uh, this here is built in 1.8 to 1 scale and in reality it would therefore have a length of 383.9 meters and uh, a beam, yes, a beam of 39.4 meters. Pretty, uh, a pretty large ocean liner. And a draft of 11.1 meters. The ship has 11 decks and is set to place in the year 1938, shortly before, before um, the Second World War. Uh, you can download the ship on my Planet Minecraft account. I will um, I will post a link in the video description to the project so you can download it there and also read the yeah the uh, story of the ship because we've uh, written a whole story about it and there's yeah there's also a bunch of information about the ship too like uh, speed capacity and all that, st that stuff um, the ship could transport 3,000 over 3,200 passengers and over 900 crew. Yeah, and ha would have would have had a tonnage of uh, 96,000 gross register tons. Uh, we calculated out that with a blender. Yes. But now, uh, oh, I'm still in spectator mode. So. Um, yeah, the the ship is uh, pretty, um, yeah, tidied up pretty clean from the outside. I mean, there's not very much here. There's a small flap. By the way, this uh, tugboat here, that's the spawn. You will spawn at the bow here. Uh, we only have uh, small things like the, uh, this flag, some cranes, a uh, uh, hatch, then some uh, fog lights and all this stuff. But um, no large events, and uh, yeah, that's exactly um, the yeah the style of the 1930s liner I like. And yeah, let's let's uh, go to the bridge. So this here is uh, the bridge, pretty uh, simple. Um, before. Uh, I go to the sh uh, I go to the ship further. I have to mention that all of the machinery, like uh, generators, boilers, uh, turbines, um, everything, is um, white colored. So it's in the color white. Uh, um, it is built like this because we wanted to have the engine room. Like very clean, very uh, yeah, very tidied up looking. So uh, when we go in here, we have a bunch of rooms like th this uh, radio room. I, I won't go uh, through every room, especially not from the crew, because like rooms like this, like the uh, the cafeteria. You can take a look at that by yourself. Just download the ship, and then uh, I like such a conference room. 
just download the ship and uh, go through the crew if you um, if you like to. Mm, I mean, it's all written in German, but uh, I I think you will understand it somehow. Like um, one room I want to show you though is the uh, captain's state room. Oh, if we go in here, here's the captain. Yeah. Yes. Uh, this here is his, uh, yeah, living area. Then he has his own um, bathroom, of course. And here is his, um, his office. Captain's office, yes. Um, before we go in the uh, public rooms of the first class now, um, I want to mention that this ship isn't um, built in an Art Deco style like it's usual for the um, for 1930s liners. It is built in um, yeah in a style called uh, neoclassicism. Um, yeah, which is also a very um, popular style in um, especially the German regions. Uh, it was a very popular style um, uh, in the late 1930s and early 40s. So yeah. Here we have the staircase, and I'm sorry that it. Um, it lags so much, therefore I will turn down my uh, render distance a bit here. Like this. Um, yeah, that's the staircase and as you can see this here isn't Art Deco, this is Neoclassicism. Uh, you will see those types of ceilings, these um, yeah, square, square looking ceilings. You will see them over and over again. In, so, uh, yeah, elevators. Um, the actual staircase, in fact, is here. So here you um, can uh, go through the uh, through the decks, like yeah. So we have an observation bar here at the front. Like it's very typical, but um, uh, underneath here are the uh, crew quarters. Like for officers, the captain, and all that stuff. The Queen Mary had this uh, bar run um, deck um, lower. Here I designed it like this because of um, the risk of waves damaging it. Damaging it. But I think it's also pretty cool with this uh, small staircase here. Yeah. Yeah. Then we will go through the lounge. The lounge is, um, as you can see, uh, really modern neoclassicism. It's very bright. Mm, yeah. Yeah, that's the lounge. And again, you s uh, you see this. Um, type of, uh, of of ceiling and here's the dining room yes the dining room here is um, not in the hull of the ship it's in the superstructure um, we just wanted to do it like this uh, I mean um, people um, now may argue yeah but uh, when you want to go from the lounge to the ballroom, which is uh, there, you have to go through uh, through the dining room, and uh, that is pretty bad because when people are uh, eating here, um, that would be pretty bad. But uh, because this is um, at uh, this is one deck here, this is all in the superstructure, you can just switch your rooms from the promenade. The promenade is um, yeah, just simply a walking area, like on other, every other ship you have um, 
mm, yeah, you can uh, go through the um, through the door there at the lounge and just uh, follow here and uh, go in the ballroom. So that would be no problem. Man, it's pretty lame. So we have a um, well a small area here. Have that too. Uh, why is it um, s smaller here? Because the uptakes are splitted and the uptakes are behind those mirrors. In the staircase it wasn't a problem because the staircase is um, like this narrow, but here we ha had to do it like this. Um, this can be used f as a children's dining room. So uh, here's the ballroom pretty large room actually and here's uh, yeah it mm, looks a bit older a bit older neoclassicism but um, has also uh, yeah, a modern touch uh, we have some instruments there but yeah this is after all the the, um, the ballroom Continuing on, we have the, um, uh, these here are, by the way, the exits uh, I meant. There, you can go to the promenade. Here we have the, um, the reading and writing room, yes, exactly. Um, yeah, that's a very wooden uh, room, just like... Um, yeah, just like a library, like you would imagine a library, uh, just like that. We wanted to build it like this uh, to um, yeah make it look really cozy, really comfortable. Um, yeah, and so we built that room. Mm. Yeah. What else um, I have to say? Um, there are also many paintings here, but yes. Here we have the smoking room. A pretty dark room, but um, in my opinion, I mean, I know the the like the Normandy. Um, she also had a smoke room, which was like uh, kind of such a tan beige color. Um, but that's not the color I think uh, a smoking room needs. A smoking room, in my opinion, needs to be needs to have a dark color, not especially black, but some darker wood paneling or something like that. Here, I opted for this uh, black colored look, also neoclassicism, because all these rooms are based on uh, actual designs of rooms. Some uh, existed, or still exist, but yeah, but some never existed and um, were created with AI and we replicated those rooms to also show um, yeah how far AI is today. Yeah. But I like the smoking room, I think it's, mm, yeah looks like a nightclub but yeah here we have also some bars because yeah a lot of people like to drink uh, during um, smoking and yeah here we have the botanic garden the uh, last uh, yeah public room on this deck or the last room in general um, this room is mm, only one story tall but um, yeah, uh, story deck, but this deck is raised, so it has four blocks of space. Mm, yeah, I mean, there are many plants here. I think, especially these corners here, uh, they look very comfortable, and you can access it through here. Yes. Uh, at the back here we have uh, some deck space with some uh, benches. 
those things um, uh, are also on the Normandy. These were, um, I don't know how it's called in English, um, mm, for uh, free time activities like you had your um, yeah, your weapon here and could uh, shoot out sh some um, yeah, plates or what were these, I don't know uh, how it's exactly called. Mm, we have those there and here we have some um, yeah sun deck basically I try to um, also put all these um, seating um, opportunities behind the superstructure because otherwise here it would be pretty windy actually because um, as you can see on this uh, blue ribbon this is um, kind of a fast ship and therefore I um, yeah also um, placed uh, these things only here and not there. Yeah, uh, that's deck space from the tourist class with some deck games. We have those deck games here also, and as you may have already seen it, here's the um, uh, the tennis court. Yes, also with some benches. And this uh, name is also illuminated at night. I mean, you can guess it because it's very bright right now. So, um, so basically, we can. Um, I don't know if I want to show you the third class. I don't know. Um, I think not because it's very unspectacular, uh, you can take a look at uh, that by yourself, but maybe uh, we will take a look at the tourist class. But first, firstly, I uh, want to show you a cabin on this ship. Here we have a central um, yeah, cabin hallway. Um, <laughs> on this ship nearly everything is uh, <laughs> like centralized, uh, how you want to call it. But yeah, and if we go, uh, wait, we will, um, take a look at uh, outer cabin. So this is one. We have a mirror here. Um, yeah, mirror effects um, could also be made here. Yes. I think that's a pretty um, comfy cabin. And also <laughs> you will see this uh, type of ceiling here over and over again. Yeah, you've seen it in nearly every public room and also in the cabins and um, also um, in the hallways as you can see it. But I think the hallways uh, turned out pretty nice. Looks a bit like some kind of horror game, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. Um, anyways, let's go through here. To the aft staircase. By the way, I'm uh, seeing that I could have placed more variations of flowers here, but never mind. They can be happy that I have flowers here anyway. Mm, yeah. Here we have some shops. I won't um, show them you all. I mean, a, a shop that I can show you is the um, a nail and barber shop. It's like this and for the men here. Um, yeah. So, uh, you can, as you um, have seen, switch the decks through these um, staircases here too. 
and then we will get to the pool. Yeah, that's here. Inspired. Um, <coughs> ah, wait. First, we will take a look at the gym. That's this here, two stories high, and also a small look out here because here's the, um, yeah, an entrance to the ship. Here's the entrance. Here the people board are boarding the ship. Of course, in the front staircase there's also a boarding space, but now we are here. And yeah, you can look up here and uh, directly see these um, uh, typical neoclassicistic classicism, um, no, classicistic uh, squares here. And we also have this here in the gym. Yes, pretty large gym, but yeah. The thing is, when you have a gym in a ship that's two decks high, um, it's um, you can fit way better, um, yeah, way better things here. Ah. There we have a small lookout. And we can go into the pool directly through here. Also, the um, dressing rooms are one deck higher. So we have the pool here. It's inspired at, um, to a Romanian um, yeah, bath. <laughs> and yeah, we have a duck here. Wasn't put by me. Uh, Yeah, the pool is it's uh, pretty simple, but um, yeah, I think it's it's okay, it's fine. Uh, we also have a sauna here. And a orient bath right here. Turkish bath or however you want to call it. Um, but yeah, now we can quickly uh, go to the um, tourist class through here. That's um, normally a, a emergency exit or an exit for the crew that they can switch to the uh, through the classes. But <coughs> Never mind, we will use that now to go to the um, dining room of the tourist class. Uh, what I have to say is, whoops, what I have to say is that the tourist class wasn't um, wasn't built by me. Uh, it um, was uh, built from a friend of mine. Um, That's the dining room of the tourist class. Also, <laughs> square ceiling, yeah. But I think Niklas uh, did a really good job here. And, yep. Hence, I didn't wa uh, I don't want to make the video that long. I will make a quick tour through here. So that's the um, yeah staircase, of course. Um, if you go through here again, we can also visit the um, other public rooms. Yeah, I know the tourist class also has a, um, a, 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 f a cinema. Here's the smoking room of the tourist class, but I cannot show you everything. The um, the uh, the ship is so large. Um, like it, it would take hours and um, I have not the time for that and I think you also don't have the time for that. Here we have the winter garden, uh, also pretty comfy and also have a uh, a bar right here which is also connected to the dining room of course. Yes. But 
that's the bar. Um, yeah. And the lounge is back here. Yeah, that's the lounge. <coughs> and as you can see, the tourist class, um, yeah, actually has also some pretty nice looking rooms. <coughs> Wait, I've. I will show the cinema, but only quick. Um, I can I can also show you a cabin hallway. That's a cabin hallway of the tourist class, and um, that's like a cabin with their bath. Yeah, all right. So, uh, there we have the cinema. This is the cinema, yes. Sits directly at the stern. But nice spot for a cinema. Because we didn't know what we could fit in there else. Um, yeah. Mm. Otherwise, engine room and all this stuff, you can take a look at that by yourself. Because um, I won't make this video that long uh, like my uh, previous ship uh, tour videos. Because uh, this year should only be a promotion and not a complete tour. Just a showcase, you could call it. Yes. But yeah, there we have it. I hope you got some nice impressions of the ship. Mm. Feel free to download it. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I will post the download link in the um, uh, comment, no, not comments, description. And there you can download it and explore the ship a bit deeper, like explore the fan rooms here and everything else. Oh, also the third class, yeah, I didn't show that to you. This, um, the third class is here in the bow, but it's very unspectacular because it's also quite small. But anyways, um, thanks for watching and we will see us soon, I hope.